Mark your calendar for October the 14th at 8 in the morning Pacific Daylight Time as the moon covers portions of the sun making a ring of fire solar eclipse. An annular solar eclipse will visit the United States for the first time since May 20th, 2012. If you are inside the path of annularity, a solar eclipse, you will witness the overly sight of the sun as a thin ring altercated by the moon, what is known as a ring of fire. At all during times of the annular phase of the eclipse, it is never a good idea to look directly at the blinding sun as sunlight penetrating around the moon is more than enough to blind your eyes instantaneously, leading to permanent blindness. So what is an annular eclipse and what is the difference between that and a total solar eclipse of the sun? Well, an annular solar eclipse is while the sun and moon are nearly the same apparent size in the sky, both are about half a degree in diameter. Sometimes, though, the moon appears just smaller than the sun. If you are in the path of annularity, a solar eclipse, you are inside the anti-umbral shadow of the moon. The annular solar eclipse of October 14th, 2023, crosses the United States from Oregon to Texas. The eclipse moves next to the Central America and then South America later that day. So even 96% of the sun light is being blocked by the moon, it is never a good idea to stare directly at the sun with your naked eye as you could get severely blinded permanently. So the question is, when does the annular solar eclipse begin and the partial phase, you are wondering? Well, if you're in Dune City, Oregon, it will begin at 8.05 in the morning Pacific Daylight Time. Then the annular phase begins at 9.15 a.m. Pacific Daylight Time, nearly an hour and 10 minutes later after first contact, with the partial eclipse ending at 11.38 in the morning. Winnemucca, Nevada will have their first contact of this eclipse beginning at 8.06 in the morning Pacific Daylight Time, with the annular phase beginning there at 9.20 in the morning, with it being ended, or the partial phase ending at 11.46 in the morning. But since this live stream will be hosted near Odessa, Texas, the live stream will begin at 10 in the morning Central Daylight Time with first contact starting at 10.18 in the morning with the annular phase beginning at 11.43 in the morning with the partial phase ending at 1.21 p.m. Central Daylight Time. Looking at the path of annularity all the way from Oregon in the U.S. all the way down towards Texas, the red line from the NASA Eclipse website shows us where the anti-umbra shadow will be tracking across the western U.S. Many areas outside of the path of annularity will just see a crescent or a partial solar Solar eclipse. With the annular solar eclipse ending in northern and eastern Brazil right around sunset. This annular solar eclipse happening tomorrow is not to be confused with another solar eclipse happening early next year in the year 2024 on April the 8th. That eclipse will be a total solar eclipse, meaning that the moon will block out the entire surface of the sun, meaning total darkness, meaning that it is safe to look at the sun when it is completely covered by the moon. That is only, though, during while the moon is completely blocking the sun. And just for a fun fact, even one percent of sunlight could blind your eyes instantaneously so it is never a good idea to look at the sun unless the moon is completely covering it and i mean completely wait until you do not see your shadow at all on the ground now the unfortunate thing about this annular solar eclipse is it's going to be across many mountainous ranges where not a lot of people live and so if you do want to see this annular eclipse if you're in albuquerque santa fe you're going to see it pretty much where you're at. However, if you're in Cheyenne, if you're in Oklahoma City, you'll need to travel more than six hours to your destination to see this. If you're in, say, Sacramento, it'll take you four hours to the t path of annularity, whereas if you're in Seattle and portions there of Vancouver, it might take you more than 10 hours to see the path of annularity. But that's fine, though, because 214 million people live within one thousand miles away from the path of annularity so once again i will be live on my youtube channel beginning at eight in the morning pacific daylight time that is 10 in the morning central daylight time and we're going to be live out of midland and odessa texas 
that will experience 4 minutes and 40 seconds of an annularity of the eclipse. In San Antonio, you'll get between 3 to 4 and a half minutes of the annular eclipse, depending on how close you are to the center line of the eclipse. Corpus Christi gets to see at least 4 minutes and 53 seconds of the Ring of Fire. Looking at that eclipse forecast for your Saturday, October the 14th, 2023, and as you all can see here on this map from the NAM 12 kilometer model, we have areas of inclement weather like rain and thunderstorms and cloud cover, whereas if you're in the four corners down here near California, if you're down here across Oklahoma, Texas, Louisiana, Mississippi, and even Tennessee, you're going to have unobstructed viewing of the annular solar eclipse. That's because there won't be any cloud cover. If there is any, it's going to just be high, thin, wispy clouds that the models have a hard time picking up on, but otherwise, perfect perfect viewing of this annular eclipse. However, if you are in the Pacific Northwest, you're going to have a lot of cloud cover, some showers, along to go with showers and thunderstorms across the upper Midwest, the Great Lakes, and the Northern Plains, even including for the Southeast, where you have a lot of cloud cover that is anticipated. So viewing the eclipse here is not your best bet. Anyways, though, if you did like today's discussion on the upcoming annular and solar eclipses, for October the 14th, followed by a total in April the 8th, please consider subscribing to the YouTube channel, hitting the like button, and sharing this video with your family and friends on social media. Again, one last reminder is I will be live at 8 in the morning Pacific Daylight Time. That will be followed by another live stream potentially for April the 8th. But in the meantime, um, I hope you all join and actually... Um, watch this stream. It's going to be a lot of fun. I'm looking forward to seeing a lot of you. Please share this though with your family and friends. The only way we can get this out to a lot of people. But otherwise, thank you all for watching.